They're all set. And uh, away they go. Got them way to a good enough start. Medler's start right off to the lead early. Peace in our world racing in seconds. Atara Magic is a little bit keen towards the outside in the black cap. Then came Rara Tonga Rose with Adios Amigos settling in between runners in that fifth spot, the orange cap, followed by Castle Town along the rail. Then Great Affair, and at the back end of the field is Bournemouth. Only about seven lanes cover the field as they continue along the side of the track. They're heading towards the back straight and they just passed around the 2,200 meter mark and Medler's start is in front, but taking a little bit of a hold is Medler's start. Is sort of fighting with the rider, but it's two lengths clear from Zatara Magic, who also continues to fight with the rider. Peace in our world down on the rail racing in third, adios amigos. Races in the fourth spot and on the outside, Bournemouth is on the move looking for a better position. Then came behind those Castle Town, Rarotonga Rose is one from last and the trailer is Great Affair, eight lengths cover them. They continue along down the back straight past the 1800 meter mark and Medler's start in front. Leads it only by a length as opposed to last run. Then came Bournemouth racing in the second spot, one off the rail. Then came down the inside Zatara Magic, three lengths away, peace in our world, got seven lengths to make up. Rarotonga Rose moves a little bit closer towards the outside, then comes Adios Amigos and further back is Castle Town and Great Affair continues to trail the field, only eight lengths off the leaders. They continue along now to the far turn, 1200 meters left to go. In front is Medler's Tart, now got the lead by three lengths. In second, Zatara Magic along the rail with Bournemouth on the outside. Then came Peace in Our World, is still races in fourth, now only got nine lengths to make up. Rarotonga Rose is further back in the field with Castle Town edging just ahead of Adios Amigos is dropping back and Great Affair continues to trail the field now 12 lengths off the leader. 900 metres left to go in the non-black type Glenlair Trophy. Medler's start will guide them in for home. Leads it by two lengths from Zatara Magic in second. Bournemouth gets the shake along in third. The red colours then came Peace in Our World. Further back in the field is Rarotonga Rose and Great Affair, 600 metres left to go. Medler's start still in front from Zatara Magic who gets a little bit closer. Then came Bournemouth further back, Peace in Our World, then comes Great Affair as they come to the 400. Out in front is still Medler's start trying to hold on from Zatara Magic who pours on the pressure. Great Affair is finishing down the inside, then came Peace in Our World further back. It's still Medler's start but Zatara Magic is coming home strongly towards the outside and gets to the lead from Medler's start. Peace in Our World is running on between runners and down the inside, Great Affair. But it's Zatara Magic that got to the lead close home and Zatara Magic won it. Second close, maybe great to fair along the inside ahead of Medler's Tart, but it's very close and further back was peace in our world. So here's your head on replay. Medler's Tart tried to go start to finish just as it did last time. Didn't go as far clear as it did though, but uh, Zatara Magic wearing it down steadily into the closing stages. was always just on uh, Medler's Tart's heels in the uh, closing stages there and uh, Zatara Magic does get home in the end. So it's one photo, nine and six, and then came three piece in our world. Here's the result. One, six, nine, three, and eight. One, six, nine, three. So number six does get second. That's Midler's Tart. Third place to nine, Great Affair. And the fourth place to three, Peace in Our World. Well, the Glenlear Trophy was our feature for the stayers this afternoon over the 2,800 metre trip. A real test of stamina and a Satara Magic that has come out on top. Very well done to the connections as well as to his groom, Pilela. And uh, we've got Sadik on hand to collect the 1,500 Rand World Sports Betting Extra on his behalf. Sadik, very well done and thank you. Thank you so much, Keenan Stain is standing by and uh, there were a couple of jockeys on board before Keenan got on board, but you turned out to be the right one. So Keenan, well done. It was a, a cracking run from this fellow. I'm not sure if um, you've partnered him before, but um, he's a horse that's got a, a reputation for being quite strong in a race. And I saw he took you on early, but then he settled and went well. Yeah, looking in hindsight, 
we, we're all trying to get around the bend yeah. and we've got the crossover and stuff like that. So we, we're kind of yanking on their mouths a little bit more than what we would like to. But um, he, he was, I must admit, he was an absolute angel. He came back to me when I needed him to and he, he, he picked it up and, and lengthened his stride when he needed to as yeah. well, which it actually won in the race. But yeah, big thanks to, to Smith, everyone in the team, uh, the owners and everything. I appreciate picking up the ride. And I'm sure the race prior to this, which was a pinnacle over 2,700, a lot of these horses met before, and the tactics of that race would have been shaken up. So what, what were your instructions with this guy in regard? Very simple. He said, just don't bounce him. He's going to come out on his own terms and uh, just sit on him, soft hands, and get him to spit it out. If you get, if you get him to spit it out and, and you have to start making him move a little bit mm -hmm. earlier because he is such a big horse and he is a stayer, then do so. But other than that... He'll, he'll, he'll know what to do. Well, I know the team will be really happy with this win. He's a horse they've always hoped for a lot from. This is now his fourth career win, and well done. Yeah, it's just definitely a win full of merit. Mm. So a big thanks to the owners and, and the whole Smith team again. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. Gavin standing by is going to come and have a word about Satara Magic. He stands in box one, the closest box to the office. So Gavin gets to greet him every morning. And Gav, I know he's been a horse full of bittersweet for you because he's got so much talent and ambition but he's a bit like a bull in a china shop and he does himself in sometimes but today he got it all right very much so nice and i thought he was going to do exactly bull in the china <laughs> shop because when he came out he had the head in the air and he started wanting to take the bit and go and and luckily they, that, that big filly took the, took the, you know yeah. the lead for a while down the back and eventually he spat the dummy out if you can just get him to relax this was a different horse and in so doing, saying that, it's not that easy because you get him to relax and he doesn't turn it on straight away. Yeah. So you're a little bit of a catch-22 and I just said to Keenan, if you do happen to get him to relax and settle, don't sit and think that you're going to ask him and quit He's it straight away. It he doesn't just give it straight away. So Keenan had an impeccable race. So halfway around the bend, he started to get him yeah. into stride and unwind him. I said to him, he's a superbly fit horse going into this. His prep's gone very well. Um, use his fitness, you know, and, and yeah. get going on him when you can. If you've had him settled, if you haven't and he ends up in front, you're going to have to have plan B and, you know, try and conserve him. So just a pitch of a ride by Keenan. Great. He's an old mate of the stables, old mate of ours. And, and uh, just well done to, to Keenan, lovely to give him another winner. And to the partnership, to all the guys yes, involved. there's a lot of people involved. There's plenty. Yeah. And Andrea, Denver, up in Durban, he's a passionate madman about horses. And uh, Francois Dutoy has been yeah. with us a long time as well. And uh, uh, Nolan, Dennis, Matt. Dennis's whole fan, family's going crazy upstairs. Mm -hmm. He says the neighbours thought there's a murder in the house, <laughs> the way they were shouting. And um, Matt. Matt Manti, yeah. uh, I think all of Cape Town, Table Mountain, <laughs> will hear him later. And Matt will be at the waterfront and everywhere but where he's supposed to be. Crazy about racing. And uh, I'm just happy to pull yeah. off a little feature for these guys. And then uh, just a shout out to uh, Peace in Our World. I see he got a little bit maybe unlucky in the latter stages there, but still a great run from him as well. No, it's top run by him. His prep went superb mm -hmm. for this. I, I couldn't split them at home. And a uh, lovely race for him as well. He was full of running to the line. Just got a bit tight there on the inside. And unfortunately, yeah. you know, he might have run closer. Well, very, very good performance here from especially Zatara Magic. I'm glad. I know you guys have always held him in high regard. And he's in the winner's box for you in a feature. Well done. Yeah, he's earned himself some extra lucerne and some hugs yes. and kisses. And mm -hmm. just well done to the team. And thanks for the support. And to the, all the owners, well done, guys. And thanks to my sponsors, Hollywood. Brilliant. Thank you. Just a repeat of the congratulations to Gavin Smith Racing, a really big team, and uh, great to see it all come together for Satara Magic. You've heard how he can be a very difficult horse to ride, so well done to Keenan Stain. The ability is there, though, and when everything comes together, he does find the winner's box, which he has done today. So very well done to his connections, and uh, yeah, great ride once again from Keenan Stain.